in in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use stat key to get the critical values from a normal distribution needed to construct confidence intervals and I'll go over two examples both are from the chapter 5 normal based inference sheet that we went over in class so to begin we'll go pull up stat key which I already have open on my screen and we'll go under this theoretical distributions area and select the normal distribution now once we're there you're going to see that we by default have a standard normal distribution and what that means is that we have mean zero and standard deviation one for this normal distribution and to construct a confidence interval we know that we want to capture a central one minus alpha times 100 percent of the values uh, that are in this sampling distribution so that we can get an idea of our parameter so what we're going to want to do is click on this two tail tab in stack key and then adjust the central area here that's by default 0.95 so if you want a 95 percent confidence interval then you don't really have to do much other than click two tail and it'll give it right to you so you have the central 95 percent of observations there and what you're going to see is that z star value that critical value is 1.96 now notice this corresponds to the 97.5 fifth percentile you can see that by adding this lower tail to the central area now in problem one we were trying to create a confidence interval for the average BMI value for US adults and we wanted a 99 percent confidence interval so to change this we click on the central area and put 0.99 hit OK and we'll see that we need to use a Z star value of 2.575 on the second example that we went over in class we wanted to create a 90 percent confidence interval so we can change that to 0.99 and you'll see that we'll need a Z star value of 1.645